it's usually they ain't got no flooding like this, but this is a rare occasion, I guess. Days after rain has cleared, people are still driving through flooded streets in Arthur Shio's St. Tammany Parish neighborhood. Yesterday, it came up in the afternoon. By the time we got up this morning, it was down. And all this standing water is the number one breeding ground for mosquitoes. We don't really have no trouble with no mosquitoes. Yeah, they're coming by since you're talking about them. They must have, you woke them up. Now you see these. And more will start biting soon. These smaller ones will probably rainfall from the from Monday event. Biologists with the St. Tammany Parish Mosquito Abatement District are collecting samples from the 2,000 or so known breeding sites in the parish to determine their species species and the stage of development. It's in the areas where the um, rain or the, uh, the, the puddles are isolated, you know, two to three, four inches of water uh, in woodland areas. That's what we're looking for. That's where we're going to find the larvae. Director Chuck Paul Masano says we'll see more mosquito production from rainfall events this week and last week and expects the adults will start emerging within a couple of days. So far we're seeing moderate levels of larvae. You know, some areas we're seeing high numbers, but it's not going to be, I don't think, an extreme case all throughout the parish. He says planes will be out spraying for mosquitoes once the counts reach a specified threshold. And late February, they began pre-treating many of the breeding areas with an insecticide that stays active for five to six months. They kind of control it pretty good. They come and spray it, uh, the ditches and they come and uh, they spray at night. Officials say residents can help by clearing water from containers near their home and turning them over or storing them where they can't collect water.